Hello, and thanks for visiting the GeneD videocast for July 2008. Each month we'll bring you an overview of one of our e-learning courses. This month, let's take a look at our Good Clinical Practice, or GCP, course. This course covers the key concepts in the area of good clinical practice, including an overview of what clinical trials are, guidelines to conducting clinical trials, monitoring and enforcement of clinical trials, institutional review boards, and informed consent. Let's take a look at the first section, Clinical Trials Overview. Here, we discuss what a clinical trial is and how it is conducted. A clinical trial is a research study designed to answer specific questions about new therapies, novel vaccines, or new ways of using known treatments. At many points throughout the lessons, you can roll your cursor over elements on the screen for additional information. Sometimes icons will appear on screen, which allow you to download important documents. At the end of each section, there's a brief progress check to help you assess what you have learned. Moving on to the GCP Guidelines and Practice section, we go into more detail about how clinical trials are conducted, focusing on the key players involved in the clinical trials process. Whenever possible, authentic forms and data are presented to put things in a real-world context. Next, we have the Monitoring and Enforcement section, which covers the FDA's involvement in the clinical trial process. It is extremely important for anyone involved with clinical trials to understand the FDA's monitoring, evaluation, and disqualification procedures. The Institutional Review Board section covers the key responsibilities of the Institutional Review Board, or IRB. The IRB is a key player in the clinical trials process, responsible for reviewing and monitoring all research involving human subjects, including a thorough review of all documentation and records coming out of the clinical trials process. Finally, the Informed Consent section reviews the general requirements of informed consent and how the informed consent process plays out. Human subjects of all clinical trials must be fully informed about the research, including its risks and benefits, in order to agree to participate. Well, that's all for this month's videocast. For more information on GeneD's GCP course or any other GeneD courses, please visit GeneD.com. G-E-N-E-E-D dot com. Thanks for listening.